it's my understanding you wish to plead guilty to three counts of attempted gross sexual imposition. Each one is a felony of the fifth degree. Each one carries a maximum penalty of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or twelve months in the state penitentiary, and a maximum fine of twenty-five hundred dollars. In addition, there is mandatory sex offender registration with respect to each one of the three counts. Now, if the court so desires, you can receive maximum and consecutive sentences, which means you can get one year on each count. You could, uh, they, they could run consecutive with each other, which means you can get three years in the state penitentiary and maximum fines not to exceed $7,500 along with the mandatory sex offender registration. Now, do you understand the maximum penalties involved? Yes, Your Honor. Any questions about that? Yes, sir. Now, by pleading guilty, you're giving up your right to have a jury trial, which will be represented by your attorneys, and in which the state of Ohio would have had to prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt on each and every one of the elements of the offense that was charged. Specifically, with respect to count one, and on the amended charge, they would have had to prove an honor about a time period from November 1st of 2010 to January 31st, 2010, in Hocking County, you knowingly engaged in sexual contact, which is the amended charge, uh, which is um, an attempted, uh, attempted to engage in Pardon me, sexual contact, which is attempted gross sexual imposition, and with another person that was a minor, and it's alleged that you were a cleric, and the other person is a member or of or attends the church and congregation um, um, served by, by you. With respect to count two, they would have had approved on or about November 1st through the 31st day of January uh, 2011. You knowingly engaged, uh, or attempted to engage in gross sexual imposition, which is sexual contact with a minor, and um, it's also alleged that you're a cleric, and the other person is a member of the church served by you. With respect to count three, it's alleged that on or about the same dates and time in question, being November 1st, um, pardon me, um, between the first day of November 2010 and the 31st day of January 2011, Hocking County knowingly uh, attempted to engage in a sexual contact, which is attempted gross sexual imposition with a minor, uh, and it's alleged that you were a cleric and the person uh, was in the congregation served by you. Those are the three counts of attempted gross sexual imposition that the state will not have to prove uh, because of your guilty plea. And you understand the nature of the offenses uh, to, to which you're in your plea. Your Honor, one point. I thought we were going to make that honor after 1217. We could, if we could so amend it. The, the, the dates, Your Honor, on the offense were, were amended to honor after December 17, 2010. Okay, on all three offenses. All, all three offenses. Okay, yes, that amendment, I'm sorry. With that amendment, uh, do you understand the nature of the charges to which you're ending your pleas? Yes, sir. Any questions about that? No, sir. 